Many years ago, I used to sign off my letters and emails with be well, you know, fairly standard sign off. And then one day I was thinking, yeah, but I want more for this person. I want them to be more than well. And that's when I started signing off be magnificent. And if you get my newsletters or any of my emails, you've seen that. So my friend, Dr. Joe Vitale signs off with expect miracles. And how cool is that? Because when we expect miracles, we're priming ourselves for that. We're setting ourselves up to allow that. So let's do some tapping to really prime that. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being. I choose to expect miracles. And I choose to love and accept myself. I choose to expect miracles. And I choose to love and honor myself. I choose to expect miracles. I'm priming the pump for that. Setting myself up for miraculous things. And then getting out of the way so that I can allow those. I choose to expect miracles. And I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe everybody else. Because that might seem miraculous. I choose to expect miracles. I choose to expect miracles. I'm setting myself up for miracles. I am priming myself for miracles. And there may be a part of me saying, expectations lead to frustration. Expectations lead to disappointment. It's foolish to expect anything. especially miracles. But that's just a matter of how I look at it. Einstein said, there's two ways of looking at it. As though nothing is a miracle or everything is a miracle. And he chose the latter. And he was a pretty sharp guy. So if I come from the standpoint that everything is a miracle, I'm not going to be disappointed. If I say I'm expecting miracles, And the next day is going along. I could look at everything that happens as a miracle. The sun came up today. Even if it's behind storm clouds. <laughs> I expected miracles and there is one. I'm still breathing. I'm sucking oxygen out of the atmosphere and moving it through my body. It's a miracle. But I expected that. And as long as I'm expecting miracles, and acknowledging that they keep happening, I create the opening for even bigger miracles. 
Now, one could argue, what's a bigger miracle than the sun rising or sustaining life? So it may not be a bigger miracle, but it might be something unexpected. Somebody reaches out to me out of the blue with some really good news. I achieved something I wasn't sure I could do. All kinds of wonderful things can happen. Wonderful things are happening for people every day. I might sometimes block that in my life because I'm expecting something other than miracles. Not because I'm bad or stupid, not because I'm weak or lazy, but because I've been taught to expect the worst. Expect the worst and you'll never be disappointed. Although maybe sometimes you'll be pleasantly surprised. So part of me might say, yeah, that makes more sense. But we tend to look for what we're expecting. So if I'm expecting the worst, I'm gonna find that needle in the haystack. As I allow myself to expect miracles, really good things, that's what I'm gonna be looking for. And if I give myself permission and allow myself the right mindset, I'm going to find those good things more often than not. Clearing the fear of doing this. Some part of me might feel it's not safe. Some part of me might feel it's silly. And I'm clearing that fear. I'm giving myself permission to have fun with this. I'm allowing myself to expect miracles. And they're going to show up. Sometimes they might be very small. But as I'm more open to miracles, I give the universe a lot more room to surprise me in wonderful ways. So I'm joyfully allowing myself to do that. In body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. Let it go. And yeah, play with this idea of expecting miracles and look for them and look, give yourself permission to say, yeah, that's a miracle. That's a miracle. Cool. I expected them. They're showing up. And uh, when stuff might make it difficult for you to do that, I'm here for you. Thanks.